Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> that was so weird. As you could probably read from the title of this video, this video is some tips to help you to compose. And um, it's not like a full-fledged course. It's just some uh, little uh, tricks and exercises to uh, improve your compositions. First bit of advice I have for you guys is to listen to other people's work. And on top of that, listen to your own work. Because when you listen to other people, you will get inspiration, you'll get new ideas of things that you might want to write. And when you listen to your own tracks, you will understand and realize how much you need to improve. And not only that, discover different styles of music. Uh, for example, if you're somebody really into romanticism, uh, maybe try out some contemporary atonality stuff. Or uh, check out Baroque. Check out how Bach does his harmonies, because I'm, I'm just going to say that's very useful. And not only that, discover different um, different composers too, because chances are that those composers have their own unique style of um, composing. I just recently discovered uh, Blasher and uh, Ludowalski, um, as you could probably see from my Paganini video, and uh, they're cool. They're cool, I, I guess. But you can take it one step further. See, by imitating your favorite composers, your favorite pieces, favorite songs, um, you can learn their style and you can write almost like them, or at least learn from them. Okay, if I'm going to be completely honest, I kind of forgot to record this bit, so here I am doing it now. Um, as you can hear in the background, this is one of my imitation attempts. Um, an attempt to try and imitate, like, Lena Rain, the Undertale soundtracks. Um, just like the 8-bit chiptune-y soundtrack <laughs> soundtracks um, that you hear in video games. Um, and uh, I would say it's somewhat su successful. Um, you can hear like the clear Lena Rain um, other side influence and uh, some Undertale influence as well. But not just that. Like for example, my Sonatinas is an attempt for me to like imitate uh, Museo Clementi, which is somebody I look up to. And um, if I'm gonna be honest, my piano concerto was even an imitation of Kabalevsky's third and first and Rachmaninoff's number two. Um, did I succeed? I'm not sure, you tell me. Um, but the most important thing is that I learned something off of it. Anyways, do you have a composer you really like, like Kapilevsky, or a game you really like, like Celeste? And you can just imitate uh, things from them. But do note that it's not a one-for-one -one copy because you're trying to imitate the composer or the song or the piece and you're trying to learn uh, from that style. So don't just mindlessly copy down random people's pieces. Uh, even old composers did this. For example, Chopin. He was a massive, massive Bach fan, which, you know, rightfully so. And he um, like copied all of Bach's pieces uh, onto a different score, um, not to like claim as his original or anything, but rather to learn from his pieces. And in fact, Bach is a really good place to start because most of Bach's pieces is very academical, if you know what I mean. And so that's pretty much it. Um, if you want more uh, help for composition, there are always uh, videos, like a lot of videos on uh, YouTube. I suggest uh, those by David Bruce, uh, Tantacruel, 
uh, Ryan Leach. Those are all really good YouTubers. I might I might put them in the description if I remember, but yeah, don't count on it. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful for you. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Go subscribe.